Welcome to this very special episode of Late Night News where we've decided to give our politicians a break and focus on Zimbabwe for a change. Because probably we'll learn a lot from a country with a leader who is 91 years old. I mean, think about it. 91, Gabriel Robert Mugabe has more experience than any of our leaders. Hmm? And even when you combine them together, still more experience. But the downside of a 91-year-old uh, president is that age. He's going to die. Hmm? He's going to die. I mean, the guy went from a revolutionary like Che Guevara to a president who's falling out of a plane, getting tripped by the red carpet all over the place, all over the social media. I mean, come on, man. I'm sure some of you out there are thinking, what the hell is Luis Ogola smoking comparing Robert Mugabe to Che Guevara? But before our main man, Bob Mugabe, became the guy dominating the news for dictator-like tendencies, he was the ZANU PF who fought the British colonialists in a war that claimed thousands of lives before ending in the late 70s with the signing of the Lancaster House Agreement. An agreement that resulted in national elections being won by Robert Mugabe of ZANU PF. But we all know that colonialists are not good at giving up power. So the Brits betrayed him by not keeping their word on land distribution. And basically, Mugabe has been mad at them since. Mad at them. Shame, shame, shame we say. Uh, to Britain and its allies. So since the Brits did not want to give up the land, Mugabe decided that it would be taken away forcefully. So the land grabs began in 2002. Whites were evicted from their farms without compensation, something that Juju and the EFF are suggesting that we should do in South Africa. They are itching. We're like, mm, hold on, hold on. But having farms did not equal prosperity for Zimbabweans. So food shortages and immigration followed a weak economy. Hey, it was rough, guys. Hey, 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 hey. Some people had a plan, though. Hmm? Some people had a plan. I mean, look at this. They can't find work, so for these Zimbabweans, gambling is the next best bet. With unemployment spiralling out of control at a massive 80%, the only way to ensure there'll be food on the table is a win at the bookies. In Zimbabwe, when you employed, hey, you're like a celebrity. People are like, hey, let's take a picture. Why is he a superstar? No, he has a job. He's rough here. And what is Mugabe doing about all of this? Well, I'm not really sure because our media is not keen on reporting on what's happening in Zimbabwe unless it's something really tragic. But what I do know is that since being elected as chairman of the African Union, Mugabe has been allowed to travel again. I mean, the good times are back. The EU has indicated it will allow him to travel to Europe in exceptional cases for high-level meetings. We are sure that Mugabe's wife, Gucci Grace, as I like to call her the shopper of Bulawaya, for her legendary shopping spree, was so happy to hear this. I mean, she's like, I'm going back to Europe. I'm Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Conquer. It's good times. The decision does not extend to his wife, a situation that could be problematic. Last April, Mugabe refused to attend an EU-Africa summit in Brussels because his wife was not invited. Mm, Grace, sorry, 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 man, guys, man. But, I mean, think of world leaders, African leaders, who understands the plight of a wife more than any other leader in the world? Who would go, but this is unacceptable, I am protesting. As a result, South African President Jacob Zuma also cancelled. That's right, our president, Jacob Kejateki Sazuma. But wait, that's not all. At his birthday party earlier this month, Mugabe reassured his people that now he's tackling the economic struggle. Hmm? And that struggle was next on his agenda. I mean, bra, bra Bob, Uncle Bob, uh, Mr. Gabriel, you've been president for nearly 30 years, my man. Eh? Shouldn't that have been on top of your priority list? Eh? Or were you just busy like stealing the elections and making sure that uh, opponents were disappearing to focus on the economy. And now you know how he plans to stimulate the economy? Do you know how he's planning to? Ah, watch this. I mean, it doesn't get more ridiculous. So somebody, very few are African. The majority are white. Safari, safari, safari. In our region, we have the most safaris and the most animals but we are now going to invade these forests yes safaris tourism invading forests okay i guess that's another disadvantage of having a 91 year old president he's too old to care about the knowledge economy all he wants is all these british people must go 
It's like having your grandmother run the country. It's rough, guys. But I, I wonder how Mugabe maneuvers himself in all the situations. Because he's always at the best world parties. He's always in, he, he's in the mix. How does he do it? We found some tapes. Maybe they could give us a little bit of insight on how he does it.